Okay, everyone, I am back, and it is officially summertime. It's actually the, the weekend. I was done, like, Tuesday, and I've literally been, like, working every hour I've been awake since then to mostly clean my room, and uh, which involves cleaning all of the enclosures, mainly my rooms generally picked up. It's just there's, like, dirt and stuff because I have, like, a bunch of animals and, you know, terrariums in my room. Anyway... I've just been cleaning and getting things prepared for summertime, and now it is time that I can sit down and do all the, like, computer stuff. So I have to uh, update my notes, go through videos, literally hours and hours and hours and hours of work of editing and doing that type of stuff. So now I can tackle the big projects, like the new Crest Gecko enclosures and the infinite amount of work that I've done over the past, like, many, many months since since like six months I have like 800 clips to go through and turn into videos so it's a lot to take to 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 have to do and I'd be less overwhelmed if I could be like okay now I'm starting here and that's all I have to do for the next like couple weeks I can literally just focus on this but I also have a class starting on the 7th I don't even what day is it it's still wait what month is it it's, it's still May, I think. Wait, is it May and June? Yeah. On the 7th of June, I have class starting, and on the 12th of June, I have the ACT to take. So this week, I need to start studying for that, and I have something for FAIR that I need to turn in, like, video-wise. So I'm going to get this video done, then I'm going to figure out what I need to do for FAIR to uh, try to be, like, the GOAT king or something for, for the Marion County FAIR and uh, also like outstanding market exhibitor. I think I have to turn in videos for that, but it's like not even specific of what I need to say in those videos, so I don't really know. And I will uh, figure that out afterward. But what I've realized is even though I take two, I took two weeks off just because I had exams and that's that's all, like the, I had exams this week. So I, I spent the, the weekend working on that rather than trying to get a video out, unfortunately. And like I said, my room was a mess and I can't work on the computer stuff until everything's picked up and how I want it, re re kind of how I want it. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna try to feed some animals because you guys seem to enjoy that to some extent, and that's something I can do without spoiling literally everything because nothing's the same in my room except the iguana cage. So let's feed Charlie. Okay, so here we are with Charlie, and open this up. And I currently have an entire cantaloupe just like rotting in her enclosure because there's like a ton of insects in here and I kind of just let them do their thing. So we had so, like a rotten cantaloupe that I just kind of threw in here. So it kind of smells in here, unfortunately, but eventually the cantaloupe will uh, officially decompose and everything. And I won't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of there. I wonder if I can flip it over. Where do I flip? kind of gross here. You see? So it's literally just rotting in here. Unfortunately, that also means there's probably like maggots on it, which is disgusting. But, ooh, that smells so bad. All right. I'll just bury it a little bit. That's why the flies won't really get to it, but the isopods still can. Because there are a ridiculous amount of isopods in here. So I like to give them stuff to eat. And Charlie was eating it when it was still, like, good. But, okay. So here we have where I'm going to feed her. And I'll put some food down right there. As you can kind of see there, the food, the water dish is kind of dirty. Uh, one of my goals, among many others, this this summer is to figure out a water dish that actually works properly because unfortunately the the water dish I have it gets dirty and it's really hard to clean out so I want to try to create something that doesn't um, that's easier to clean out because it's obvious that Charlie's gonna want to poop in her water it's just like how am I gonna deal with that is kind of more the problem I'm running into so uh, I want to try to create something that I don't have to worry about so much and that I can clean out like on the daily really easily. 
so then she's getting fresh water, but right now it's just logistically not particularly possible for me to do that just because it's so hard to deal with. So, oh, so there we have some food. She's going to come down and eat it, and that, that should be good. Yeah. Let's see what her reaction is here. Looking at her right now, it's very likely she has eggs because her stomach is massive, and it's not like I've been overfeeding her, so I'm not really sure what that's about, but it's possible she has eggs and she's gonna lay eggs, but as you can see, she has adequate digging space and everything to deal with such a problem, so. Or, you know, she could just lay them from her basking area like she did the last time which is also an opportunity she has. So, as I said, I want to I want to do something with the water dish. What I'm thinking is like putting a raised one in here that has a drain in 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 some way, so then I can drain it out the side maybe if I like screwed something and plumbed it. So then I could put a put a water bucket like on the side of the enclosure and then just hit a little knob dealio and bam, it would drain just like that. And then I could wash it out with, you know, more water and then I could just fill it back up. And in theory, that could be a good idea, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't know, I just don't know how that, if I could do that properly and how that would look and everything. So uh, ideally I could get her outside to be in the outside guano cage, and then I'd have the opportunity to work on something like that, and that's what would that's what would happen with that. But I'm not entirely sure if I'll, I'll have that opportunity. So I just don't know how she'll do in the outside enclosure. Preferably she'll do well, but again, I don't know. So once I get her out there, we'll kind of tell if I can actually do that over the summer, and if she'll be eating and you know doing everything normally, or if she'll just be scared and like hiding all the time. So I'm not entirely sure how that'll work, but hopefully she'll enjoy that and uh, not escape or anything. So I have footage and stuff of just like everything. Like I, I can't even, I don't even know what's happened since, since I like, I just, I just didn't have time. Cause whenever I went to film or went to edit a video, it was for like, it would be like a big video and I just, it would be so late in the day or late at night that I wouldn't have like, that I wouldn't be able to comprehend like editing such a big video. So now that I have daytime to actually work on editing, I'm really excited about it, but I'm annoyed because I have a bunch of other things going on at the same time, which makes me, you know, less excited about it. But ideally I should be able to, you know, do that stuff and get it done. But just so much has happened and it's just really, it's really crazy. I don't know. There's just so much that's gone on. Like the babies are, there's, there's so many baby geckos and uh, the turtles have done a lot. Like everybody's done a lot. I've done a lot. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that's happened that'd be really interesting to get out. But in theory, if I spend the next literally couple weeks editing pretty much every day without too much interruption, then I should be able to get all the videos out in such a way that I won't have to, to worry about YouTube for a while throughout the summer because I have a lot more projects that I need to work on, such as this one, as well as the, the leopard gecko enclosure, the outside iguana cage. I need to figure out stuff with the, the gecko enclosures and the geckos. I just have a lot to work on, as well as like summer projects. Like I need to start selling dubia roaches and I need to start selling baby crushed geckos. And there's just a lot that I have going on that I need to get to this summer. And also I need to figure everybody out. Like I need, I really need to get everybody situated in such a way that I'm happy with the enclosure and I won't have to mess with it too much. So then I can be good for, for this, this coming school year, which honestly, from what it looks like, I won't, I won't be at school as often, but I'll still have, I'll have more difficult classes. I'll have a lot less classes, but I'll have more difficult classes. And that's kind of what I have going for me this, this coming school year. I'll be a 
a junior in high school, but I'll actually be taking all college classes by that time. And I'll be taking like college chemistry and calculus and more difficult classes. So it's just a lot that I'll, I'll be doing then. And I don't want to have to worry about the animals so much if I can get them in the the goal is to get them the easiest possible way to take care of so I don't have to deal with things so often and I can kind of get a good routine going on. And you can see that big fat belly. I would venture to guess that is most likely just because she's probably gravid right now. But man, she's a beautiful iguana. And I know it is a female because she has laid eggs before. She's <laughs> she's nervous. She's not sure what I'm doing here with the camera. So I'm gonna th I'm gonna feed the roaches real quick as well because the food that I have is quite is kind of going bad and the roaches will kind of eat anything. But I'm gonna get them down and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about that I want to start selling them because especially with these guys I have an absolute ton of them which is really good but uh, not very good for the enclosure I have them in because it's just not very big and I have a lot of dubia roaches and I have a stupid amount of red runner roaches so I can start off with them There's simply way too many in here. Well, I don't know if there's too many in here, but I never use them for anything. They're just kind of here. Here's a male. Oh, should I let me grab her? There's a female. Uh, but there's just thousands in here probably, and I don't use them for anything really. I don't feed them off. I probably should start feeding them off. They're pretty good size to feed to crested geckos, but unfortunately, they're really fast, and I don't know, I might start feeding them off. Who knows? But for now, they're just, I just feed them every once in a while. So as I said, this food's kind of going bad, so I'll, I'll kind of give them a lot, and they can handle it. I've never had a problem with it being too humid in here, so I don't know why, but they just like to destroy food really well. Uh, the red runner roaches, that is. The doobie roaches are a little bit different. I have had problems with it becoming too humid and the food kind of getting gross, but then I just have to clean it out a little bit. So here we have, this is the main doobie roach enclosure, but the population kind of went down because I, I think I kind of uh, overtook from the, the colony. So luckily I have two deep roach colonies and now I've been taking from the other one. But it's just a lot uh, to, to take from them because I have all of the, the baby geckos. So I take a lot of the babies out to feed to the geckos, the baby deep roaches. So this colony will grow back up. I'll use it again and I'll exchange it for this final colony or this secondary colony here which as you can see this one did get really gross here so I had to clean it out so I can see there's just a lot of rotten food in here and that's just because I made a lot of food at once, and especially mixing it with the, the squash, uh, kind of made it go bad. So uh, supposedly, from what you read online, these uh, hissing cockroaches do not like rotten food. Like, they won't eat it. Uh, I haven't had too much trouble with that. They'll generally eat whatever. At least what I've found. But there is a lot of them in here. I'm trying to get some of the babies off. I don't want to squish the babies when I put them back, so I don't like them just hanging out in the lid. Which they do a lot of the time. Because they're hissing roaches. And they can climb plastic. 
So there's a lot of roaches in this container. A lot of really big roaches. I'm gonna give them some gross food. I'm trying not to get this liquidy stuff too much. Because the ventilation isn't great on this container. And I don't really want it to get moldy and I don't want to have to clean it out completely. So in theory they should eat that and they should be fine with it. So there's just a lot of them in here. Man, it didn't hiss. That's really weird. This is a female. Doesn't have the horns. But there's like a stupid amount of them in here. Which is crazy. I just started off with 30 and none of them were adults. So now I have like probably close to like 100 adults. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's overestimating. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of them. And here you can also catch a glimpse of Richard's enclosure a little bit and the 125 gallon, even though it's out of focus. Okay, so that'll be it for this video. And obviously this is a lot of spoilers if you've been following along with the channel, but there's just a lot to come and you'll see it all in the following videos. So all of the stuff that's behind me, you probably don't recognize in any type of way. So uh, that's just because it's new and it's annoying that I can't film like videos in my time as much because I, I know there's so much that you guys haven't seen yet and that makes it really difficult just to get a video out like I am doing right now even though I have so much like I have a zoo here essentially and I could just go around and film feeding and you guys would watch it as you're doing now but it's just difficult because I feel like I need to get out the videos in like chronological order so it kind of screws me up when I even though I have so much that I can film I need to get out the other videos first so that's why I went off for two weeks because I just I didn't have time to deal with stuff and I couldn't get out a quick video like this so hope you enjoyed if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you want more content then subscribe have a fantastic day